Welcome to our CompTIA Cloud Plus training course. My name is Tom Carpenter and I'll be your guide as we go through this course together. Now I've been working with the cloud for well over a decade and with computer technologies, well, for going on three decades. And oh no, it's actually more than three decades. And in all of that time, the cloud has become one of the most interesting and well, let's just say it coolest technologies that has come along because it allows us to do everything that I remember doing back in the 1990s, but in the cloud. Inside of a web browser, I can deploy 25 or 30 servers in less than an hour. Inside of a web browser, I can create storage. I can create artificial intelligence implementations. I can do all kinds of things. The cloud is just amazing. I really love this technology. And one of the most important things to understand is that nearly every organization of any significant size is using the cloud in some way today. Even if they're just using a subscription service to something like Microsoft Office in the cloud, or if they're going all out and they're doing all cloud deployment for their infrastructure, organizations are utilizing the cloud. With the importance of IoT or the Internet of Things in the coming decade, the cloud is going to continue to grow in importance because IoT is being very heavily used in IoT technologies with the cloud solutions. So it's very, very important to understand cloud regardless of your role in IT today. This is important for programmers. It is important for systems engineers. It is important for network administrators. And it's important even for desktop technicians now. So the cloud is here to stay and we need to understand it. Now, what we're going to be doing as we go throughout this course is we'll start off with, you know, what is Cloud Plus all about? I'll give you some tips and tricks about the exam itself, how to prepare for the exam and make sure you're ready. And then we'll get a good introduction to cloud technologies, really laying the groundwork for everything else that is to come so you can truly master these things that we're discussing. Then we'll move on to go into requirements for a cloud solution. I'm a huge believer in requirements, and in just about every course I talk about with every technology, regardless of what it is, I'm going to talk about requirements somewhere because it is the essential component to successful IT implementations. After that, we're going to go through the different major components that you implement in the cloud one by one. So we'll talk about storage in the cloud and networking in the cloud and compute in the cloud. Then we'll back up after dealing with those three important things to talk about the general concept of migration. How do we get the stuff that's not in the cloud into the cloud? And then once we get it there, the next topic is maintenance. How do we maintain what we have deployed in the cloud? And then the all-important cross-cutting quality requirement of security. Security is so important. I don't just want to talk about it throughout the course, although I do, but I want to have a dedicated section to it. And we have that as well. And finally, we'll wrap up with troubleshooting. What do I do when things go wrong? So as you can see, we have a lot of things to cover in the course. Now, in addition to the course itself, I want you to understand that we have other materials available for you. So we have the objectives available readily so that you don't have to go looking for those. And then we also have slide handouts, which can be excellent for you to use to take notes as you go through the course. And in addition to that, at the end of each chapter, we have questions to make sure that you're grasping and comprehending everything that we talk about. Now, there's one thing I want to be very clear about. This is important for the Cloud Plus exam, CFE 0003, and just for understanding the cloud in general. And that is that cloud does not always mean someone else's network. In many cases, you implement cloud technologies on your local network. Maybe you use something like the open source solution called OpenStack or something else entirely, but you can implement what is called a private cloud. And then you can also implement what's called a hybrid cloud, where some of it is on premises at your location and some of it is in a cloud service provider or a CSP. So this course addresses both sides of that coin, the private cloud and the public cloud using a CSP. Now with that, let's go ahead and begin looking at what Cloud Plus is all about.